Uh, so we just finished the game. It's finished uh, Wolves 1, Brighton 4. But Maka, you've taken a WSL team to the 88th minute, 1-1-1 one, after being a goal down. You must be immensely proud today, mate. Yeah, no, listen, nothing but proud for the girls. I thought they were fantastic. You know, I, I didn't think I'd stand here and say 4-1 didn't reflect the game no. at the end. I think 88 minutes in to still be one all is, uh, you know, that says it all. Um, I think anybody looking at that game sees 4-1 and thinks, but yeah, Wolves have got what, what they thought they would, but I don't think it told the true story. So really proud of the girls. I think we've got to take this into next week now and, uh, and make sure we correct our league position at the minute. Yeah, you got the baggage next week. I mean, like, I thought in the first 10 minutes, you came out the blocks so fast. You nearly scored. OK, they started to take a little bit of control. 41st minute, they got the they got their heads in from across, got behind you. What did you say to the girls at half-time? Because second half, absolutely magnificent. Yeah, we, we talked about what success looked like. And, and half-time, 1-0 down against the Super League team is success whether we like it or not, but the girls were actually disappointed. They were actually disappointed they were 1-0 down and we had the chance in the first minute. Oh. But listen, th those are the margins in the game, aren't they? You know, we we're planning for extra time and next thing you know, it's 4-1. So, um, they've, listen, they've just, they've just taken, as you said, some household names. There's, there's international players, Colombia, Spain. So, listen, nothing but proud. The girls need to, they'll probably be disappointed now, but the girls need to go away and understand what they've done here and not forget that this was a, an amazing achievement to even be here, but to still be in the game after 85 minutes is incredible. So I hope the fans are proud, because I am. Talking about the fans, mate, over 1,800, it's a record today. Um, absolutely packed stand. The celebrations when, the, uh, when Beth scored that penalty as well. I mean, that really must have helped the girls on. And, and you know, OK, you were chasing the game at the end and they got a couple of goals and it doesn't reflect it. Absolutely incredible for But what, what, how, how great is it to get over 1,800 in here today to support the girls? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, it was fantastic when the goal went in. The roar was phenomenal. Yeah, it was phenomenal, you know. And even when we were on the attack, you could hear this, the crowd get behind the girls and it does help, but... Listen, we don't want that to be a one-off. We want that to be regular. We want, we've got a Black Country Derby next weekend and we want to feel that same support and, 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 and also gets under, the, gets under the players, the opposition players. You know, they could feel it was intimidating. So amazing from the fans, amazing from the whole club and hopefully we can take this into next week. Absolutely, and I tell you what, the girls played with heart, a lot of composure, a lot of quality. They played for the shirt, they played for the bads, they played for the fans. It's a team you can be proud of. And next week, as I say, they've got the baggage. You want a lot of people to come back next week uh, for the league game as well. Absolutely, mate. You've hit the nail on the head there. Hugely proud of everything we've achieved this year in the FA Cup. Well, let's see it come to fruition against the Albion next week and see if we can get into another final. Congratulations, mate. Um, you know, the, and the one thing that's fantastic about coming down to watch the girls, they're still signing autographs. It's half an hour after the game as well. And, they're, you know, all these young girls that they're inspiring as well is incredible too, mate. Exactly, exactly. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's about seeing those six individual girls who went to school as their idols of Beth Merrick and Tammy and Sophie this week. It's about seeing what the girls and the impact they have across the community and it's about them seeing and being. That's my motto. If you can see it, you can be it. And they've seen today just what they can achieve if they, if they aspire to be the best they can be. So really pleased all round and hopefully we can, we can move on from this and take, keep taking strides forward. Congratulations, mate. Brilliant job. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers mate.